In this video, you'll learn how to create tags in ActiveCampaign to segment your contacts based on their engagement with your brand. Plus, we'll reveal our best practices for using a tagging system to keep an organized CRM inside ActiveCampaign. I'm Jason, Growth Specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's dive in. Before we go over how to create tags in ActiveCampaign, let's talk about when you want to use tags versus custom fields. So tags are best as a fast, easy way to add info to a contact inside ActiveCampaign regarding their actions, behavior, their interests, or their engagement with your brand. So this helps you create a flexible folder system for segmenting and grouping your contacts. This can also help you indicate their status and the relationship to your brand. Custom fields, on the other hand, those are best for storing data about a contact, so like their name, their email, uh, a certain product, the date of a webinar that they registered for. And this information can then be used inside of campaigns dynamically. So we can use those values as personalization tags. And you can check out this video here to learn more about how to use personalization tags in your email marketing efforts. Now let's go over best practices for creating tags using our tagging system. And what we do is we're going to use one main list and then segment everything using tags. So a tagging system looks like this. Okay. We've got a tag type. We've got the prefix that lets us know what that tag is for, and that goes in the name of the tag itself. We have a purpose for the tag, and these are examples of each tag. And what we do is we create the list of all of our tags in a Google Sheet so that any other team members, if they're looking at the tags, they can understand why we created the tag, why we named it the way that we did, and the purpose of that tag. So you create your Google Sheet, and then we can use the tags to create segments for targeted email campaigns, create forks under automations uh, to send them down different paths, create dynamic content. As I mentioned, we can also uh, begin or end automations using the tag as a trigger. And we're going to take this list that we created in a Google sheet. And I'm going to show you now how we put that into active campaign. So once we have our list, we can actually copy and paste these into active campaign. So we'll dive right into active campaign. In the left-hand menu, go to contacts and go over here in this menu to tags to the left. If you're not sure whether or not you should be creating a tag or a custom field, you can take this quick quiz here. That's very helpful for determining if it should be uh, one or the other. And then once you've identified that it should be a tag, you can add them in one per line separated by a comma. So I'll do that now just as an example and hit add tags. And now I can search for that tag. I one example. I can edit the tag. I can add a description. And what we can do is we can paste the description from our tagging system purpose section here. And then that way, anyone inside Active Campaign that's looking at this tag will understand why it was created and what it's for. So just to review what we've gone over, we're going to go to contacts, go to tags, and then add the tags into the space provided here. If you have any questions about how to create tags in your ActiveCampaign account, just drop them below. We'd be happy to help out. 